God cares about your emotional well-being. He wants you to be full of peace, hope, and joy. So let's go to the Lord together and trust Him for complete emotional healing today. Father, I come to you, burdened by the heaviness of my emotions. I've lost joy, hope, and peace in my life. And instead, I'm overwhelmed by grief, stress, fatigue, and fear. But I know that you want me to be free from all negative emotions. So, Lord, my God, I'm calling to you for help. And I trust that you will heal me as it says in Psalm 30. Lord, my God, I called to you for help, and you healed me. You, Lord, brought me up from the realm of the dead. You spared me from going down to the pit. Luke 10, verse 19 through 20 says that you've given me authority to overcome all the power of the enemy. Nothing will harm me. I command the spirits of intimidation, fear, anxiety, depression, and anger to submit to the authority I have in Christ. These spirits have no hold on me and cannot control me any longer. I'm free because of the work Jesus did on the cross. My mind is free. My soul is free. My heart is free. My emotions come into alignment with God's will and God's ways as I submit myself to God and resist the devil. The devil will flee from me, as it says in James 4, verse 7. Let me receive your healing from any headaches, mental imbalances, bipolar conditions, vertigo, post-traumatic stress disorders, insomnia, restlessness, attention deficits, hyperactive thoughts, and sleep disorders. Lord, I know that according to Isaiah 40, you give strength to the weary and increase the power of the weak. You are merciful to me, Lord, and you help me. I trust you to turn my wailing into dancing and to remove my sackcloth and clothe me with joy, like Psalms 30 says. I proclaim 2 Timothy 1 verse 7, which says, that you haven't given me a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and self-discipline. I confess Psalm 73 verse 26 over my life. Though my flesh and my heart may fail, God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. According to Isaiah 41, you have chosen me and not rejected me. I will not be afraid because you are with me. I will not be dismayed for you are my God. You will strengthen me and help me. You will uphold me with your righteous right hand. I proclaim that I have the mind of Christ 
that my mind is full of hope, peace, joy, love, trust, optimism, faith, and thankfulness. As it says in Romans 12, I offer my body as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is my true and proper worship. I will not conform to the pattern of this world. Instead, I'll be transformed by the renewing of my mind through the Word of God. Finally, I declare Psalm 23 over my mind, heart, will, soul, and emotions. Lord, because you're my shepherd, I lack nothing. You make me lie down in green pastures and lead me beside quiet waters. Thank you for refreshing my soul. You guide me along the right paths for your name's sake. And even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil because you are with me. Your rod and staff comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows with blessings, joy, hope, and peace. I'm certain that your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I pray all these in the powerful, eternal name of Jesus, my Lord and Savior. Amen.